Hello, welcome back. So today I'm going to start off by taking some concealer from Tarte. This is the Shape Tape in the shade Fair Neutral. And I'm going to put a little bit of that on my eyelid. And then I'm going to take this flat shader brush. And I'm just going to spread that out all the way up to my eyebrow. And then I'm just going to take my finger and I'm going to spread that out even more just to make sure it's all even. And then I'm going to take some translucent setting powder from Laura Mercier and then this Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush and set down that concealer all over. And then I'm going to take Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Virginity. And I'm going to put this on a little eyeliner brush. And that's going to go all over my eyelid, three quarters of the way across. And what's really nice about these is they're eye safe. So it is okay to put them on your eye, by the way. And then I'm going to take Watermelon Soda, also from the Velour Liquid Lipstick Collection. Both of these are from last year's Summer Collection. So sorry the limited edition, but I just love the colors. And I'm taking this on the same brush, and I'm putting it on the last quarter of my eye, the outer corner. And I'm just setting that down across that. These two colors are so beautiful together. And then I'm going to go into the Morphe, the 35P palette. And I'm just going to take this little Zari Cosmetics shader brush and I'm going to pick up that taupe purple color and I'm going to put that all over where I put virginity. And then I'm going to take that same Zari Cosmetics brush and I'm going to take Seize the Day from ColourPop and that's just a pressed eyeshadow and I'm going to put that everywhere that I put the watermelon soda. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Made to Last, also from ColourPop, and I'm going to take a Morphe R40 brush, and I'm just going to blend out all of those colors and make sure they're blended together. And then I'm just going to touch up the pink and the purple, just to make sure they're really bold and really bright. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Silver Lining, also from ColourPop. I'm going to take that on a Morphe M518 brush. This is really, really small and really defined so it just really helps with the crease area and then I'm going to take this photo finish primer water from Smashbox and spray it all over my face and then I'm just going to use my hands to help fan it out and make sure that it's nice and dry and then I'm going to take the Too Faced Born This Way foundation mine is in the shade Snow and I'm going to use this crown brush to just blend it all out and again I love this brush so much we all know it I've been obsessed with it it works so well and then I'm going to go back in with the same concealer from before, so the Shape Tape in the shade Fair Neutral. And I'm going to put that in my T-zone area, so all over under my eyes, all over down my nose, on my forehead, on my chin, and then my cupid's bow. I'm going to take a dampened beauty blender and just blend it out. I love this. I love this combination of the concealer and the foundation. It's so gorgeous. I've been so obsessed. It's, it's wonderful. It's fine. And now I'm going back in with the translucent setting powder from Laura Mercier and I'm going to take this big fluffy brush. I can never remember what it's called but I love it. It's wonderful and I'm going to set down all of everything basically. Just all of my face. And then I'm going to take this shade. It's also silver linings from earlier and I'm going to take this little Morphe pencil brush and just run it under my lash line. And now I am going to take the watermelon soda and the little eyeliner brush again and I'm just going to put that three quarters of the way, or I'm sorry, about a quarter of the way under my lash line. And then I'm also going to put it on the top of my lash line. And I'm going to make a little tiny wing with it, like the smallest wing ever. It's fine. And then I'm going to go into the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. I'm going to pick up the lightest shade on this little Zari Cosmetics contour brush. I'm going to very briefly show you how I contour, and it's not great, so sorry about it. And then I'm going to go in with this blush from Tarte. This is in the shade Pop, and this came out of their Christmas collection, so sorry it's limited edition again, same with the brush. And then I'm gonna do my mascara with some Sephora mascara. I'm gonna do my brows with a dip brow from Anastasia. And then I'm gonna go in with this shade, it's called On The Fence, also from ColourPop, and I'm gonna take the little brush that comes out of the Urban Decay Electric palette, and I'm just gonna pop that in my inner corner. And then I'm gonna jump into the Anastasia and Nicole Guerrero palette. I'm gonna pick up the shade Kitty Cat, and this is on a Zari Cosmetics highlighting brush, and I'm going to highlight. I love it. And put it down my nose, and I just, like, basically soak myself in this, and I'm not sorry about it. I love this palette. And I'm going to go back into it and pick up the shade Forever Lit, and I'm just going to put that right on top, and it adds so much. I'm going to do my lips with the Jeffree Star Watermelon Soda, the same one I did my eyes with. 
And this is a really, really bright and fun color, so I thought it would be perfect for the summertime that's coming up. And then I'm going to take Virginity, the same one I used earlier, and just put it in the center and do kind of like an ombre lip. And then I'm going to jump in with Kitty Cat and just put that right on top of Virginity. And it just turned out so good. I love that lip combo. Okay, you guys, this is the end of this video, this tutorial. This one was, um, this is a little bit more wearable than the last one I did. It is still super fun and colorful and poppy and just kind of summertime. I had so much fun doing this one too. I'm just having so much fun lately. I love the, all these colorful looks that I'm coming up with. I just, I don't know. And I don't know, man, like it's just fun. I'm just having fun with it and that's what you're supposed to do with makeup. There's no rules in makeup. You can do whatever you want. And I mean, some people I'm sure would see this and be like, you're stupid, like, that's not how it works. And I mean, like, I got super messy with all of this up here and like, I let it bleed onto my upper lid and there's not, it's not the exact same on this side and that's okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just have to have fun with it, you just have to have fun and do what you want. Like, there's no rules to makeup, you know? Like, there's tips and there's tricks and there's tutorials and there's fun things to do and there's things that you're like wow that's stupid but there's no rules to makeup guys you can do whatever you want again thank you so much for hanging out with me as always i hope that you enjoyed this look if you did make sure to like comment subscribe and all of that fun stuff and I, that's the first time i've done that in a long time i've just been going on i've been on a roll and i just messed everything up so yeah thank you again so much for coming and hanging out with me and i will catch you guys in my next video bye